Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talk. So, today I wanted to talk a little bit about what would happen if the petrodollar was not the petrodollar or if the petrodollar was not converted into US dollars. Instead, maybe the Chinese yuan, maybe some Arabic money, who knows? However, a lot of people don't really understand what this means. Now, while I'm opening up this package, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got and I'm going to be talking a little bit about that because so many people have a misconception of it doesn't matter if they buy it in US dollars or if they buy it in Chinese yuan or if they buy it in any other currency of the world for that matter. Now, the reason I am opening up this package while I'm talking, I got a few packages in. I've been wanting to open them up. However, I always like to open them up on camera for two reasons. Obviously, if anything comes up wrong, then I got a record of it. And two, to show you guys what I believe in doing to kind of isolate yourself just a little bit, a little bit of insurance against if the petrodollar was not converted in the US dollar. Um, so to put that in perspective, the first thing we need to understand is when anybody buys oil in the world, it is first converted. Boy, this is a really small package. This almost ain't even exciting to open. Um, I don't always know what I got when I got it. I buy the dips. I buy the sales. When something goes on sale, I buy it. This package right here came from Universal Coin and Bullion. It was a sale they were running out of a magazine, and I called up and said, hey, ooh, I want that deal. But if all of a sudden tomorrow they said we are no longer going to have to pay, people are no longer going to have to pay using U.S. dollars for oil, maybe they're going to say um, you can pay in Chinese yuans, maybe they'll say whatever, maybe they'll say every country can pay in their own currency. However, what happens is all those dollars that we've printed out, all this time, people, every country in the world is holding U.S. dollars right now. Why are they holding them? Because they know they're going to need them. They're going to need them when they go to buy oil. If they can only pay in dollars, it's like going, if you're in the U.S., you're going to go to... Starbucks and you have, um, let's say some Canadian money or some pesos or some loons or something. Um, and you go to Starbucks, you ain't going to be able to buy your cup of coffee with that. They're going to want us dollars or a credit card or basically digital. Um, a lot of different ways you can pay digital, but with that being said right now, every country in the world has to pay in US dollars for oil. Whether or not you like the US dollar, whether or not you like the USA, it doesn't matter. You have to buy USA currency in order to end up buying oil. That's what they accept. That's all they accept. This is a beautiful coin right here. This happens to be a 2022 American Silver Eagle. Now this package has been sitting here for a little while. But would you believe I picked this up at $29? Super awesome deal. I know some people are going to be like, no way. Spot price on Eagles are, are higher than that. And they are right now because they just keep going up. But look, 29 bucks. And then whatever the next coin is, I got two of them at 25 I just know it's an ounce of silver. Super awesome deal. That was actually bought on 131. So beginning of last month, you guys can see how long I've had it now. Um, I don't know what spot price was when that happened. Um, but needless to say, now if all of a sudden they say you can buy oil in the Chinese yuan, what do you think is going to happen to all those dollars that countries are holding? Those dollars are going to flood back to the U.S., because the countries holding them are going to spend that money back into our economy. Now, some people are like, well, so what? That's good for us. That gets the money flowing. And then maybe I can get some of that money. You know, I make something. I produce something, whatever. Uh, maybe you work at a company that produces something. The company will get it. However, when you think about what's going on right now with inflation, 
a lot of the inflation right now is getting caused not just by supply shortages. Yes, it is supply shortages, but a lot of the shortages is actually because there's so much more money because people have been essentially getting the stimulus. A lot of printing of money has been printed recently. Make sure they are both the same thing. Yep, they are. So those were 25 bucks a piece at the time of getting this. But granted, it's been now a month and a half. But beautiful coins. Hard to touch an ounce of silver now for 25 bucks. Price just keeps inching up and inching up and inching up. Makes me wish I had bought more when I had the chance. But that's okay. I'll still buy whatever the price is. Because I know this is sound money. This is real money. This is a commodity, essentially, for people that don't understand commodities. That's the building blocks of everything that we buy. This is silver. It doesn't have to have this on there. It doesn't matter. This is worth money if I take a flamethrower to it, burn it, destroy it, carve it up, whatever, stab it. I could literally scratch it all up. It still has its value as a commodity because someone can melt it down and it will still have value. Now, as all these dollars start coming back into the system, you will see increase in prices on everything we buy, including precious metals. Now, if you're a precious metal holder, that's great. But if you are holding a lot of money in your bank account, um, or you're holding a lot of US dollars, then that may not be too good. Because when you go to the store and you buy something, your money won't go as far. Now, I know some people say, oh, man, you must be excited. If that happens, you'll have some silver, and that will be worth a lot of money. So you'll make a lot of money. Here's the problem with that. Almost everybody in the U.S. gets their livelihood through U.S. dollars. What does that mean? That means they either get Social Security, which is U.S. dollars, a set amount, they go to work every day, they get a paycheck, usually a set amount in US dollars, or they get some sort of disability, which is usually a set amount in some uh, some sort of set amount in dollars. Now, assets though start climbing in price. The stuff you buy every day, gas specifically right now we're seeing it, oil, food, lumber, housing prices, all that stuff starts to go up. Now, someone made a comment the other night when we were talking about this on the live stream, and they said it could have already started happening. And it could have. You're not going to get told this. They don't. People don't want panic. Almost like if you knew the world was going to come to an end in the next month with an asteroid, what kind of panic would set in? I mean, it would be obscene. So they don't, nobody wants you to panic. However, I don't have that many subscribers, enough to cause panic in my opinion. However, by me telling you this, you subscribing to my channel could potentially get ahead of this curve. How can you get ahead of this curve? Maybe you can buy yourself a little silver. Maybe you can buy yourself a little bit of gold, which I don't have one right here. Um, but maybe you could buy yourself... Um, some copper. Maybe you can buy yourself a little bit of extra food to have on hand. You know, originally the CDC um, wanted Trump to put out that people were, this was back a few years ago, people should have up to eight weeks food on hand. But they didn't want to put that out. Higher ups in the government did not want that out. Why? Because it causes panic. But they did put out you should have at least four weeks of food on hand. Now, what's the difference? I mean, four weeks is four weeks. Eight weeks is eight weeks. And how long do you think anything bad would last? Looking in history, when bad stuff happens, it generally doesn't just go away. So with that being said, I'm telling you this because I want you guys to maybe prepare. And by picking up one or two ounces here and there, when you have a little bit of extra money, it's going to put you in a better position. This order right here, a month and a half ago, was only, what did I say? What did I say, guys? $79. $79, but I've only got three coins. Now, three coins is not many, 
But if you start buying two or three coins here and there, one day you will look back at it and be like, wow, I've accumulated a, a couple of coins there. <laughs> and who knows? Each person is going to be different. Some people want to go in hard right off the bat. Some people want to go in easy. That's up to you what you feel comfortable with. I think you should have different stuff on hand. I think you should have some extra food on hand. I think you should have some security at your house. I think you should have a little bit of maybe precious metals. Um, everybody's got different ways of storing this. I know I know. I get asked a lot what, what I think the best storage way is. Me personally, it's not something that I, I disagree with a lot of people. I have a safety deposit box. In fact, I have a couple of them. However, I can put these in there and I know they're safe. And I know right now someone that made it this far in the video is saying he's a fool. And that's okay. I understand that. But I'm more of a public person about this. The average person does not advertise what they have. Me, I tell you what I pick up because I don't keep it here. So I don't worry about it. However, if I didn't advertise, then maybe I would. And maybe someday when I don't advertise and I have a little bit still, maybe then I won't be as nervous about it. But everybody's going to have a difference of opinion. Some people will say, oh, you could hide it. You could put it in your fridge. You could bury it in your garden. I mean, there's a lot of different answers for that, but each person has to decide that themselves. However, having a little bit is going to put you in a good position later, I believe. Now, none of this is financial advice, nor should it be taken as such. I have to say that because I'm not a financial advisor. I don't get paid to sell you silver. I'm not trying to sell you silver. In fact, I don't even sell the stuff. I mean, I, someone might ask me, hey, will I trade them this coin? They really like it. Or, oh, I really need that 2002, that new design. It's a beautiful new design of the eagle on the back. But at the end of the day, that's not me. I'm not in it for that. I'm in it to help people. And I'm in it to grow my channel. I ain't going to lie. I like to grow my channel. But I talk about a lot of different stuff on my channel. A lot of gardening, a lot of prepping, a lot of homesteading, that type of stuff to be prepared. But a lot of that comes down to being prepared. So you guys should consider doing a little homework on it. Check out a bunch of our other videos. Um, and you don't even have to stay confined just to me. There are other people out there that make good videos. They're probably not as, I don't know, talkative as me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but with that being said, I, you know, I just really want people to consider looking into this. And when you look into it, you will find the right answers because I love hearing you were the one that got me started stacking. And now I've got a nice little stack. I could actually, some people say they've been able to purchase, like if they wanted to sell their collection, they could buy a car, but they're not going to sell it. I had one person tell me he sold his collection because he lost his job for like six months and his collection made it through that. If times bad come, you can always sell it. Be careful though how you buy it. Don't buy super high premiums. Keep an eye on stuff. Slow and steady wins the race. Little ounce here, little ounce there. That's how I do it. As you can see, my package today is only three ounces. That's nothing. You know, and and then if someone tells me, oh, I like that coin, we trade something for me, you know, they may end up trading me, I don't know, maybe somebody will trade me an ounce and a half silver because they need this year, this date, this condition. You know, there's a lot of factors that go into play on this stuff. So with that being said, please, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys think of this. I mean, I really enjoy more than you know, reading you guys' comments. Your comments are what keeps me essentially pushing in with this stuff to keep me going even further. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. I was just snapping a screenshot of that. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow night and you guys have a great one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.